Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today's job is to install the tow bar on my 2002 BMW X5. The bumper is held on by four 8mm screws, two in each wheel arch, one there, one down there. The bumper is also held onto the two support brackets by two T55 Torx bolts which are located up under here. The exhaust trim simply unclips there and there. Then it's the crash support bar itself, which is a series of T50s. And then underneath, if you can see that, a couple of 13 mils. And some case of repeating the same on the other side. Another two tens. Perfect. To make life easier for yourself, it's probably easier just taking this out as well, just one there and another one down in there. Again, plastic 10 mils. Okay, once those 13 mils are undone, it's just a simple case of pulling the bar out. There we go. And then just repeat the process on that side. Okay, now both have been removed. Now it's a simple task of just using a 250 and removing all of these and the 213s under there. Most of them are removed, but typically two stubborn ones up under here. Yeah, I'm not sure you can see that, but there's a nut under there and it's spinning. Okay, well that was that one out. There's a nut behind. He's just got to put a spanner on it. As easy as that. Right, onto the other side. Okay, the bumper reinforcement bar is now removed. There it is, and now I can start fitting the aftermarket tow bar. If you have an OEM one, if you look inside, there's a bit of sealant there and there. If you push through there, that's where the OEM one bolts to. But as I've got an aftermarket one, mine is slightly different. These brackets, obviously, 
fit in there, like so. Bolting up like that, and the lower bit bolts through the bottom, which you can just about see through there. However, the exhaust in the way, typical. So I'm going to have to lower the exhaust. It doesn't appear to be a very hard job. A couple of 13 mils there to drop the exhaust mount, and then a series of tens. Oh, they're corroded, they're going to be nice, they're going to snap. And then another two at the bottom to get the heat shield off. I might just have to lower it, I might have enough space. Well, the first one rounded straight away, so I don't think I'm even going to bother with that. But I might just have enough room to uh, pull down there. Inside, if you look inside there, there's actually two rubber bungs. One's already fallen out, there's another one at the back. So pop those out while you're doing it. Well, isn't this fun and games? Having bolted the aftermarket one up, there's a distinct gap. But because it came with no bumper reinforcement, I'm going to have to use the original. The original needs modifying because the hole fouls the arm as it comes through. So I'm going to have to do a bit of adjustment, a bit of grinding to solve the issue. All right, the issue being this needs to sit flat in there, but that needs to be trimmed down. So basically, down here and around. Should solve the problem. Right, let's get the power tools out and do some butchering. Don't forget your PPE. Precision engineered bumper reinforcement bar. It should now fit. Okay, all mounted loosely to trial fit. What it just needs to do is tighten it up and then do the, the electrics. But I'm pretty sure I haven't got the right module because I don't think the BMW want to be in there because it didn't have one before. So if you see there's a grommet in there, you undo that and you feed your wires through. And then it's pretty easy after that. Right, all fitted and secure, bolted up. And now it's just a matter of doing everything up. It's just basically the reverse. The exhaust clamps, the T50s, the 213s on the tail eye. And it's just a matter of fitting the bumper again and wiring it in. I decided to swap the tow bar over because I'm pretty sure that one's slightly bent, so I don't trust that one whatsoever. So I've gone for an uprated three and a half ton tow hitch. All finished, installed, and the dog's barking. The only thing I had to do was a little bit of modification there.
Okay, the wiring's all fed through, ready to go. However, it's not just a simple case of splicing into your rear lights like the good old days. You need to have a control module. The control module on this vehicle is absent because it never had a factory fitted OEM tow bar. The control module is located underneath that panel. To gain access to that, you have to remove the airbag compressor housing there, there and there. No, you don't. Dickhead, it's there, there and there. The support bracket and then the plastic casing. Once you've installed the control module, that will activate the X393S, which is your wiring connector for the towing. Right, time to remove the compressor housing. finished all wired in and that's the completion of the tow bar.